Hello everybody watching this video. Today we're going to have a little rugged USB drive showdown to see which one you should carry around with you when you're either mowing the grass, cutting down trees, or just being a general lumberjack. And uh, I have two drives here which we're going to compare in greater detail. On the left we have the EP Memory Gorilla Drive 16 gigabyte USB 2.0. The manufacturer claims that it is resistant to uh, pressures up to 250 psi extreme conditions anywhere from ranging from freezing to 225 fahrenheit and it's water resistant up to 65 feet and um, of course this is using the uh, usb 2.0 interface so it will be slower it does come in a variety of colors anything from this black as you see here to red to pink or to baby blue on the right we have the Patriot Memory XT 32 gigabyte drive. This drive only comes in one color but the uh, manufacturer does carry a multitude of other products that you can uh, uh, purchase if, if you don't care for um, this actual drive. The manufacturer uh, Patriot Memory uh, uh, claims that this device is durable and has a rugged exterior uh, due to the rubberized housing. It's protected from any shock and physical damage, as well as water resistant, offering protection from various elements, and it comes with a five year warranty. The Gorilla Drive, on the other hand, comes with a two year warranty, so that's something to consider. And uh, the Gorilla Drive does come in a variety of capacities, as well as the uh, Patriot Drive. You can get that anywhere from 32 gigabyte to 256 gigabyte. I believe there may also be a uh, 8 gigabyte and a 16 gigabyte model as well uh, using the 2.0 interface. Uh, would need to look into that in more detail but really let's let's get to the bottom of these two. They look very similar. They're both uh, black and blue the the two models that I'm showing you here today. A couple uh, differences between them on the left, the, the Gorilla Drive has a silicone housing and that covers a metal frame, which is perfect for keychain loops. Um, the cover on the Gorilla Drive right here is very tightly, it fits very tight. You got to pull on this thing uh, to get that off of there. And there's the uh, shot of the inside of it. It, it. it fits to that drive like a glove. It is very tight. And that it owes its uh, snug fit to its pressure resistance. Uh, you should, if this was laying flat in a driveway, be able to run this drive over. And it should not be any worse for the wear. I'll give you a look at the back of it there and the metal keychain loop obviously is perfect for carrying it around on a keychain. The silicone cover works as Teflon and you will not have sand stick to this Gorilla Drive. The uh, USB 2.0 or USB 2.0 speeds we will cover that in greater detail. I will show you a uh, basically a, uh, a showdown on a computer. I'll copy some files small and large separately so you can get a good idea of the performance of these two drives on the right is the Patriot memory also claiming to be a rugged drive I have my misgivings about this one of course the advantage of the Patriot memory drive lays in the fact that it has the USB 3.0 interface but some things that could be considered critical flaws that may sway your purchase to the Gorilla Drive. The Patriot Memory does not have a silicone covering. It is rubberized. And I don't know if you can tell, but sand sticks to it. And I'll uh, I'll stick it in my pocket. Let me see if I... I'll check and see if I got sand in my pocket today from being outside, and I think I do. 
and uh, I'll show you the difference there. Um, the Patriot memory drive does not have a metal keychain loop. The keychain loop on the Patriot memory is rubber. So uh, it's your best guess as well as mine how long this thing would last on a keychain loop. Unlike the Gorilla Drive, it does feature a red flashing LED light, which is great to be able to tell if you're actually copying files to this thing or if you should leave it plugged in just for a few extra seconds. The uh, cover on the Patriot Drive here, let me show you how easy this thing comes off. Boom, look at that. Didn't even hear it. Let's do that again. So easy to take that off. And um, due to the fact how easy it is to get to the inside components, due to this non tightly fitting cover, I would not believe the claims that this is going to be water resistant. This one does feel that water would be impenetrable if you drop this in a sink. I would not be worried about the Gorilla Drive. Let me show you again. This thing doesn't want to come off easy. Okay? And it clicks on. Patriot memory slides right off. And as you can see, you could just pull it right off. Look at that. And um, if you scour YouTube, there is a video that I witnessed when researching these two drives of an individual that ran this over with his car the Patriot memory he had to take a flat head screwdriver and straighten, straighten out the USB connector on this device I'll show you the benchmarks of these two drives but I did want to let you know that I am biased for my keychain loop the one I trust is the Gorilla Drive. Alright, so uh, without further ado, what we're going to do now is uh, look at some file transfers, both um, a uh, without further ado, what we're going to do now is show the uh, performance of these two drives with file transfers. Alright, now we are ready for the file transfer test. Let me plug in the Patriot memory into a USB 3.0 drive. There we go. And then let me plug in the Gorilla drive into a USB 2.0 port. Unfortunately, uh, you really can't place these two drives immediately next to each other. The, um, the casings on both of them are fairly thick, so they won't fit in uh, too close together. Uh, USB ports so keep that in mind as well you may need to pick up some extensions and those are always a good solution our cables like this has a male and female end and they would allow you to do uh, tests like this and let's copy over back to the future 2 we'll copy that to the Patriot and then to the Gorilla Drive and that's the difference you can expect there. Gorilla drives on the bottom, Patriot drives on the top. Patriot's transferring at 45 megabytes a second. We're getting about 10, 11 from the Gorilla drive. And this is about what you'd expect from these devices here. Gorilla Drive still copying. And then when this gets done, we'll test the, 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 the read speeds, how fast it can copy to the uh, computer. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy back to the future 2, back to the desktop.
and we'll see which one performs the best here. This is the Gorilla Drive. We'll go ahead and get this one copied over. You're getting about 28 megabytes a second, which is about standard for USB 2.0. We'll give it a head start and give it a little bit longer, and then we'll copy over the Back to the Future from the Patriot Drive. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright. Tell you what, let's make a new folder. That's a big head start we got there this one may be uh, this is 20 megabytes a second for the gorilla 54 right now 50 59 for the Patriot looks like the Patriot still wins We'll try this one more time without the copying occurring from the Gorilla to see what we can expect with the Patriot normally. Now we're getting about 170, 120, it's dropping down below 100. But there was some limitations from my system there playing into that. It's finishing out at around 80 megabytes a second. Not bad. What we're going to test for small files is going to be a driver's folder with tons of little files. and we'll see how it performs with this driver folder. The driver folder is 325 megabytes so this will give us a pretty good idea. Alright, I'm going to transfer this first to the Patriot uh, well let's, let's, let's copy it to the Gorilla Drive first and now let's go ahead and copy it to the Patriot. We'll give the Gorilla Drive a head start a little bit there. Go ahead and give that Patriot drive just a little, or a Gorilla drive just a little bit longer. All right, now let's copy it to the Patriot drive. We'll see which one gets done faster. Oh, neck and neck, neck and neck. Oh, let's see, let's see which one takes it here with the little files. Well, they're actually staying pretty close together at this point. You're always going to get slower performance with, with a bunch of little files. And the, uh, let's see, it's close. Patriot Drive wins for the small files test. It really depends on what your needs are. With the Gorilla Drive, you get heavy duty ruggedness at the expense of speed. With the Patriot memory, you get all the speeds you need. So you can quickly transfer files, but you only get light duty ruggedness. And let's touch these uh, keychain holders together. Look at that. That one gets depressed. The Gorilla Drive is just pretty sturdy. So which one would you rather have on your keychain? Thanks again for watching. Hope this video has been informative and sways the decision that you're going to make on which USB flash drive you're interested in. Please like, share, subscribe, and thanks again for watching. Okay.